Hello and welcome back to Charwell. Our canola is ready for harvest, so today we're going to get stuck into that. So yeah, autumn has come along. It is the first day of autumn and we are in our top liner combine here. Uh, we're heading down to the field. And uh, and yeah, it's, it's quite interesting. I fully expected our our barley uh, to be ready to harvest today and it's not we only have the canola ready which is a little bit worrying uh, a little bit concerning uh, that we are we're not going to have the the barley ready uh, and i'm not quite sure why that is it was in final stage and ready at the end of the last game day um, and we we thought it was going to switch over and, uh, and and be ready this one, um, it's not. It's, uh, well, I can show you actually on the map here. Uh, so all of, all of our fruit types and everything ready. It's, it's sitting there. We've got these three, the, these four fields all sitting at final stage. Now, my biggest worry about that is that we are currently, uh, well, we're, we're currently beginning of autumn. And if we look at our forecast, our forecast for Thursday it looks like we might have enough time to to harvest uh, those. Friday is wet, Saturday is clear, and then Sunday and Monday are all looking to be wet at the moment. So quite how we're going to approach this, I don't know. Uh, it's it looks it's looking like it might be quite difficult. Uh, we're gonna have to move across to the next game day and uh, and go from there i think we're also looking at this gonna have to get hold of a tractor to get this into here unless i can reverse our header trailer into the field and we're gonna lose some crop getting this in here i think by the looks of things because this is quite a tight little road and quite a difficult space to get this header trailer into. Yeah, looking at this, we might need the maneuverability of a tractor a little bit more. There we go. Oh, actually, we've got... Have we got that header trailer in? It's quite difficult to see. Yeah, we've managed to avoid side... There we go, that's reversed it in. Right, and this is where we lose a little bit of crop because we have to try and get this header trailer round to a position where we can easily get it onto our combine. Actually, I've got an idea. I've got a better idea than that. Rather than going deep into the crop, let's pull this along here. See if we can back this to this point here. So as I said, we're gonna lose a little bit of crop doing this. But getting this into the right position is gonna it's gonna be necessary for. And if I get this to here, we should be able to get the gate open again. Bring it round, back us up. So we're past it. And this is where we're going to need a tractor now. That misses. The oh no, it's not going to miss the header. Right, we do need a tractor. So uh, back to the farm. And we will grab JCB. Because it is the fastest and we can get up to that field quicker with that. What we'll do is we'll go and get our trailer as well. I was going to drive out front ways, but there's no point. So reverse this out of here. 
And I think a lot of the beginning of this video is going to be me just getting my equipment into position. But I, I don't want to just, you know, always do all the harvest and stuff during a video. I like to show you guys the setup and the trials and tribulations sometimes of getting into a field. Now we've got these up here. I do eventually want to put uh, the pig feeder up this end. But, uh, yeah, need to work out the best way to do these things. Especially as we're going to be working on our farmyard some more as well. We've got, we've got work to do on that uh, that hopefully should allow us um, a little more uh, set up and, um, and work around for things. Now I've got to get this tractor into this field now as well. Hopefully without hitting our header trailer with the um, with this. So what I want to do is we'll pull this over here and we'll get our trailer out of the way at this point here. So disconnect this, disconnect that. Right, next thing I want to do is get the tractor out of the way. Here, in case we need to pull the combine out of the field. And then we're going to go and connect this back up. And push our header trailer backwards. There we go, there's our header trailer. Right, yeah, jump out, connect that up, and back it up. Right, so back the header trailer up to there, that works. Disconnect it. Oh, this is always, always, always this little dance around, especially this field. This field is especially bad for it. Uh, Basically, this gateway is really, really tight. And I love it. I love that. I mean, this, this kind of issue exists in real life where, you know, you want to try and avoid going in the crop. But this is, uh, this is a fairly extreme version of it. And I think what we'll do is we'll sit this here and see if we can get the tractor in and pull the header trailer out. Now that we're in the positions we're in. So reverse this round. Yeah, if I can hook up the header trailer to the back of the tractor, we can pull it round and, uh, and have the combine hook up in the field here. There we go. That should work. Yeah, there we are. And then, we've given ourselves enough space here to pull out and round. And then, if we throw this back round, we should have enough space here oh, without hitting the fence post to get our combine. Connect up to our header. Like this. And that. Does the minimum amount of damage to the crop. Perfect. Does mean we're facing slightly the wrong way when it comes to uh, where we are or where we want to go in the field but we have at least got our header trailer done and out we'll turn this off leave that there for now because what we can do is uh, reverse this into the field once we've got this started now uh, we need to connect up our pipes and our PTO 
starts her up and into the crop we go now the beauty is that we don't have any overhanging bushes or anything in the side here so we can just go round this field this way so to keep it simple that is what I'm gonna do uh, we'll head off round here and uh, and get ourselves cut on our first headland coming up to the end of the first headland and we are 88 percent full that is that is a fantastic absolutely fantastic yield of canola i am so massively pleased by that to have nearly a full tank of this uh, of this first headland that is just brilliant so what we're going to do is we're going to bring ourselves around here, get started on the second one. Um, before we go any further, let's uh, switch over on these and get these uh, get these bits into position. Now we're not going to use course play today. We're gonna we're gonna hold off on course play on our uh, on our stuff um, because. I don't trust, as you can see, this this entrance to this field. I don't trust. Um, it's it's pretty tight. It's uh, not very easy to get in and out of. And if I try and put a course play course on this, I think we're gonna have all sorts of problems. So yeah, I'm gonna not do a course play course in here. We're gonna park this off to the side over here, like so. So that our header trailer is out of the way. Hook up our actual trailer and try and get that then into this field. Which again is not the easiest of jobs. It's quite a tight turn this. Let's hook up and hook up. Right. So yeah, you can see we are way, way in the wrong position to turn into this field. So we'll back this up and we'll come in quite wide on this side if we can. Again, maneuvering position is not great. Right, there we are. So we want to come in quite wide on this side here and bring it round. And this is the, to me, uh, this gate opens the wrong way because you want to. You want to sort of post it through on that far side. And really, you can't do that easily. So, I'm going to have to go and turn around, I think, and uh, and come in the other way. We will be right back once I've done that and got ourselves into this field. There we go. All turned around and back into the field. And... Hopefully, round wide enough that we can just fill from our combine. Yeah, I just need to back up a little bit. And all done. So it's it's a little bit of a, uh, yeah, this, this field I always find that little bit annoying. And on this map, you can't just sell a single field if you don't like it. Um, but it's quite, it's, it's a tight turn in to, to get here from our farm. Uh, and it's just generally a bit of a difficult one to handle. So we'll leave our tractor and trailer here. A good place for us to empty. And once it is emptied, we can go in and head off. Uh, and we head off and do our second headland. So we're going to do uh, three headlands on here. We've got a wide enough header for that. That is our store empty. And away we go again. Going to get about, um, I think we could take th almost, yeah, we can take three full tanks off the combine uh, on here before we have to empty. So it looks like we're going to empty after our third headland and, uh, and be in a good position to go and tip our first load of canola, which in itself will be absolutely brilliant. Uh, because, yeah, that means we are well on the way to a big amount of canola off this field.
And now coming up to the end of our second headland with, again, about 80% in the tank. Uh, absolutely perfect for us. Uh, very, very pleased with that. I'd like to try and get a full tank uh, before we uh, empty, so I'm going to keep going for a bit. Um, but it's a, it's a good amount off here. We are getting a really, really decent crop. I'm hoping, well, we should be able to cut in without too much worry uh, after our third headland. Uh, we are in a position where we're not getting uh, we're not getting a full tank off the uh, well as as this is decreasing we're not getting a full tank off uh, the single headlands. Um, we're going to get probably around to the side here, so we should have enough space to do a cut in before we empty. Uh, and yeah, I'm really hoping we don't find ourselves caught uh caught short halfway through it um but we'll see if we get if we get a bit too close uh then what we'll do is um we'll go and empty before we do the cutting uh, and then we could empty afterwards as well there we go full tank start her up and we'll go and go and empty it we've got 31 percent in here at the moment so that means uh, we have a fair whack to go. We can take three full tanks. We can actually take three full tanks and a bit uh, in here. So we should be all right from that point of view. Empty that out. And there we go. That should empty that out. We are, yeah, we're about two thirds full at this point. I'm back into our combine. Start her up again and away we go. So about two thirds full uh, in our trailer. Really good. We can get one more load off here and then we can head back to our farm and get this, uh, get our trailer emptied. That will give us uh, our first 20,000 litres of canola, which is really good. I mean, canola is worth uh, a decent amount of money. So we'll be able to uh, store that hopefully until we get a really good price for it. Uh, and sell it on later in the year. May even, if we're lucky, be able to get out of debt this year. I think we only uh, did we're around about the 200,000 mark. Uh, so not owning a combine seems to, to be paying off fairly well for us. Especially when we get a combine like this, which isn't overly expensive to run on, um, on lease. And we are 1.5 hours. I am... Uh, Obviously, I want to run it for as few a days as I can, but uh, we still need to hold on for it until um, day three of autumn as well. So we'll try and see if we can get it to pay for itself on, on uh, day two of autumn. We might see if we can get a contract to run uh, for this combine on there. I'm not sure how many fields there are still that are uh, available for contracting with the combine. Um, but it would be it would be good to use this to uh, to make money on that and make sure that whatever co contract we use, uh, we don't cost the extra uh, hour or so to use it. That is that is the one thing with contracts and combines, is that uh, you have to if you're leasing the combine, you need to make sure that the contract is worth more than the amount of. Uh, least cost you're going to end up costing on it which sometimes is the case we found that when we were doing our start from scratch series where we ended up spending more to do a contract than um than the lease of the combine was uh, because we misjudged it by a moment and it was just a couple of little bits that we we should have done and it would have made all the difference such as turning the combine off while we were unloading would have uh, would have just saved that minute or two in it, but uh, we're trying to look along with this quite nicely at the moment, and uh, and this is this is doing an, an absolutely grand job. One of the other things I'm actually really pleased about at the moment is uh, the growth rate of our poplars. So our poplars are regrowing; they're growing at a good, steady rate. They look like, uh, hopefully, they're going to keep growing through autumn. Uh, and when we hit the winter, they'll be ready to harvest. Would be absolutely perfect. 
So, uh, yeah, just keeping an eye on those at the moment. Right, this here is going to be the end of our headlands, like that. 62% full. Uh, we can head over the other side of the field and start doing our cutting, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. So, our field is planted down like uh, this. So we want to align here. We're going to sort of even things up a little bit on this end. And go in like that. That is almost spot on 45 degrees. Just a little bit of a, an adjustment and we are good. There we go, 45 degrees. Not too bad. Quite happy with that. And, uh, and yeah, not a long cutting by any means. So that means that we are in a position where, uh, in a position where we're cutting in nicely, we can go to a full tank now without worry that we're going to get stuck in the middle of the crop without being able to empty, and uh, and get a full trailer off here. Uh, off here, I think we may end up with two full trailers if we're lucky off this field. I don't think we're looking at much more than that. Looking at how much of the field is left. Um, we definitely have enough space to turn around with the combine, which is good news. Quite a big header for this combine, actually. We did go for the biggest header we could put on it. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, it does seem to uh, work quite well on this and, uh, and keep us going quite nicely. The header, the uh, auger only just reaches past it as well. So which is another way you can tell that this is the absolute limit. Uh, for this combine like so round and cut back in again and yeah we're at 87% so I think this might take us to a full tank at the end of this row uh, and if that's the case we can then go and empty it and get fairly close to a full trailer to be honest uh, I want to empty at about, well, we'll see how much more we need to do and then we can just top up uh, before we go and tip. But this is certainly looking like we're going to end up with a full tank before we hit the end of this field. Yep, yeah, there we go. Start her up and we've got space. Wow, we actually, we don't have a lot of space beyond what we've got. We are at twenty. Uh, we're at fourteen thousand. Another seven thousand one hundred will take us up to twenty-one thousand uh, one hundred and ten, uh, which is actually close enough to go and tip this. So let's pull alongside. And uh, yeah, you can see the how close that auger is to the uh, to the header by. Uh, how close I have to get to unload. We have to pull right alongside here in order to get that into the middle of the trailer. So we'll get this emptied and then we'll go and get this emptied. So trailer is just about full. What I'm gonna do is switch over to the combine here, put a hired worker on and let them go. And we should, we should be able so maybe just fill up that last little bit. Whoop. Can we get them to... No. I think we've emptied the combine. 90, yeah, 21,257. Uh, so our hired worker will now continue on on there. And, uh, and keep doing that. We had a little bit of withered crop on here. I wasn't too bad. But now we get to negotiate this fairly horrible uh, gateway. Quite useful uh, when we had the uh, four-wheel steer on here. We still do, of course, have the four-wheel steer on here uh, to get in and out of there here. But the trick I found is stick to the right-hand side like so and turn at the last minute. And you can and you can get round. So it's really sticking to the right hand side coming out of there. Uh, we'll do fine. And we'll head to our half built yard. 
where we've got our nice new uh, grain store for stuff. And we're going to sort of use up the stuff we got in the other shed to, to keep feeding the pigs. And everything we have in here, uh, we should be able to sell this year. Uh, I'm expecting a... Uh, yeah, I'm not expecting us to have any issues uh, from that point of view. What we do have is we're going to need to store the sugar beet somewhere. And I'm still sort of racking my brains a little bit to try and work out where we could put a sugar beet pad or something similar. Let's tip this out here. And there we go. That is all done. And we should be able to... Oh, if we wait till the trailer comes down. Otherwise we'll have a problem. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, background here. So I need to leave enough gap with whatever I do to be able to drive and turn around and head back out like that. Uh, I don't want to go through the main yard all the time doing that. But that has worked an absolute treat for us. Really, really pleased we've got 20,000 litres of, uh, of canola off here already. Uh, that's going well. Our combine is... 30% full, so it's about a third full when we get back to the field. I kind of want it to not start going back the other way, but I don't think we're going to get into the field early enough. So bring this round, and yeah, hug the gate. And we might just get, yeah, it's really tight. Right, and I'm going to go and stop the combine, so there we go. I want him to... I don't want to take the hide worker off at this point. Because I will destroy crop. But I've got no choice, really. So, there we go. That is out. And we can go up to the top end of the field here. And we'll do another cutting uh, in a moment. We've not got a huge amount of uh, field left at the top here. And to make up for uh, what he's been doing going up and down... And yeah, it really is sort of that trade-off of keeping the hide worker going, keeping the combine working, and uh, and and trying to not let it uh, do too much of uh, of what you don't want it to do. There we go. It would be nice if the uh, if there was some way in course play or hide workers or anything like that to be able to get this to do the um, to open up the field. That would be pretty cool. Uh, there's there's no functionality to do that at the moment. Course play is getting there. Course play does have a version that uh, that does something in the middle of the field, but it it doesn't quite do what what I'm after normally doesn't leave you in a position where the auger is always out into the crop it's it's good in that it will back out and and let you empty um, but if you're there's no sort of cut in and open up functionality that it has right we are going to cut in again here uh, about here-ish will do us nicely make sure we are at 45 Five degrees. There we go. We go dead straight now. That is pretty much spot on. Maybe marginally out, but we're not doing big enough fields where 0.1 makes a huge difference. When you're doing the big American fields, you have to be exactly on the degree that you uh, that you want. Otherwise, you do this massive long field and you find your ever so slight angle at the far end. Here, it doesn't tend to make that much difference. Uh, we've got a couple of degrees out at the moment. There we go. And that is all good. Um, but yeah, it's it's it, it's that whole thing of without GPS, you've got to rely on your compass points. And uh, and so that's uh, that's very much how I go. And uh, but it works. It works really really well. Uh, for the most part. I am going to get myself to a nice full tank again. And then we'll empty. We've got a full tank. 
let's go and grab our JCB. And we'll bring it around the other way because we're not driving along while we're doing it. Uh, that didn't take too long. That was pretty good. I'm uh, Again, we've got a lot of field left. Whether we've got two more full tanks here or not, I don't know. Uh, but could quite possibly have. Uh, and that would take us over 40,000 litres of canola. So uh, pull right in. And that will put it in the middle of the combine. And I'm just going to park it there. And jump back into the combine while that's emptying. Start it back up. Uh, so yeah, we'll get this emptied and uh, we'll move on. So just about empty now and we want to put in our auger, head off and uh, get the rest of this field done. So I, yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased that we have, uh, we're getting as good a yield off this field as we are. To, to 40,000 litres to have this combine filling up as quickly as it is, uh, is really working well for us. I'm, you know, this is a, this is a good amount to be getting off this field. So all of our work in preparing it, getting it fertilized, uh, making sure it's properly plowed and everything, absolutely brilliant, has worked out uh, massively, massively well for us with this canola. And I'm wondering if the, the boost is also due to the fact that we got uh, the right crop in here before, uh, which just says to me that we, we need to sort our crop rotation out and, and, and sort out this issue of, of, uh, of leaving stuff fallow. If we can leave one field fallow a year, we might get away with it. But we don't have a huge amount of uh, stuff uh, to play around with from that point of view. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit of a, a conundrum for me, that one. We are going to start doing some field work to get uh, these two fields. So this one and field 45 ready for next year's crops. One of these... and. I think it might be this one is going to be taking our winter wheat uh, so we need to turn around and sort of get this uh, get this sorted and uh, and reseeded as quickly as possible we're going to have a lot to do sort of in the wet days and late autumn as well uh, to try and get stuff seeded because i want to get winter wheat in and i want to get winter canola in uh, so that they are both um uh, so we again we have these fields ready nice and early uh, next season uh, it's then uh, it's then getting the barley and uh, and everything else in Every, and then we only have to plant stuff in springtime that we want uh, to uh, to come up as early as possible as, as the whole idea really is that when we hit our harvest time I want to be having everything come in nice and early uh, means that we have the whole of the harvest to grab them and this is this is the sort of time of year i'd expect to harvest almost everything uh, the, the barley hasn't come up is is slightly disappointing to me actually because this is uh early autumn would be september so i'd expect to be getting the crops out late summer early autumn uh, and uh, and yeah it seems to be that we we are going to be harvesting to mid autumn again which uh, trying to get seasons to uh, to do that to allow me to harvest when I would harvest normally in the UK is uh, it's a little bit difficult I find we've cut in again and we're taking a bit of a risk here uh, we are ninety percent ninety one percent full and cutting in i am very very concerned about whether we're going to make it to the other side of this field uh, and this is this is one of those examples of when you could get it very very wrong we have yep there we go we cut into the crop and uh, and i've made it most of the way through and now i've got to back out all the way uh, in order to empty the combine uh, because we can't have the uh, tractor and trailer drive into the crop to do this. And so I should have emptied before I cut into here. It's, uh, 
70% is too full on the combine to uh, to go and do that. So we'll back right the way out to a position here where our tractor and trailer can get to us. And then we can just pull up beside and empty. But yeah, that's uh, that was incredibly annoying. I thought I had enough space in the combine to make it through. And we've actually not given ourselves the greatest of places to unload either. Because trying to get the tractor and trailer into this. Maneuvering seems to be um, the theme of today's video almost. Getting things maneuvered into the right place uh, is, uh, is not my strong suit today. We'll get this emptied and then what we'll do is we'll park the tractor into this, uh, this sort of this shrubberish, um, rubbish area side of the field and, uh, and continue our cutting. And, uh, and go until we get a new tank. Uh, but um, yeah, and that will be, that will actually then be three full tanks off here again. And uh, we'll go and tip for, uh, for the second time and hit over 40,000 litres of canola. It looks to me we've judged this cut in quite well. We've got one row left on the other side, uh, on the other side of it. Um, we're at sort of 70% here, so I don't think we're going to make it the whole way down this side uh, without having to empty. Uh, but after that, we are... Yeah, we've got not got a huge amount of field left, so we should be able to get... Uh, I think we might be able to go and uh, just get the other side. Oh, no, actually, we've got enough space. We have got enough space to get started on the other side. So what I'm going to do is set the hired worker doing the other side and go and grab the tractor and trailer so that we waste as little time as possible. And then while we're emptying, we can let the hired worker go and do the other side. So let's hire a worker for that. Head over to the JCB. And then we can enter on the move quite nicely and then we set the hard worker going on this this little bit of field that we've got left so combine is up to 96 percent 97 we'll bring this in here keep ourselves nice and tight 99 yes we managed to keep the combine going uh, and we should be able to empty the whole way up the side here. Oh, and this is this is the trouble getting this close. Is that in order to get that close, we are going to get the combine to sometimes detect we're in the way. But we have made it to the end of the road. And the combine now thinking that uh, that's completed. That's fine. But it's going to be a very nice full trailer that we have in here. Is it going to take all of it, though? It is. Wow. I didn't expect that. I did not expect there to be enough space in our trailer to take everything from the combine then. But I am going to set the hide worker going again on here. There's only about four rows left. So we'll hire the worker going into there. Should have plenty of space. And we are 99%. Wow. We actually worked that pretty well. So I'm going to go and tip this. And then we'll come back. And we'll see how much... Uh, we eventually end up with on this field. We're back in the field and we've got slightly more than one header's width. So what we'll do is we'll take the uh, we'll take a, about a three quarters width here, 
Uh, just makes it easier in the long run. Uh, means we don't miss anything and have to go round for like a third turn or, or uh, anything like that. Just yeah, just just me makes it easier to to be sure that I'm getting everything fairly easily. But we have we have nearly another half a tank off here, which is uh, which is excellent. Hard worker did miss a very small bit over here, so we're just gonna go and grab that. Just to make sure that we have everything, um, but yeah, another uh, another forty five percent at the moment. That is going to go over 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 fifty percent as we come to the end of this field. Uh, so that's two that's two full trailers of uh, of twenty one thousand. So that's forty two thousand we've already got, plus the uh, three and a half thousand we got here. Forty five thousand liters of uh canola off here is absolutely stupendous that is probably worth about fifty thousand pound to us just off this field so far this harvest this year is going massively well it is just bringing in a huge amount of money for us or will do once we hit uh selling time come the autumn so this year last year we weren't able to actually sell any uh to sell any crops this year is our first year where we've, we've got crop sales that are available to us. So we'll be able to do that. There we go. Get that into the trailer. And uh, and so, yeah, that is a really great field of canola. Uh, and I'm going to leave this here today. With all that remains being for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.